Exactly six months since the Taliban came to power in Kabul, residents of the capital remain uncertain about their future. A combination of a lack of jobs, assets that remain frozen, as well as an increase in hunger and poverty. Central bank funds have been frozen since the Taliban took over as foreign forces withdrew in August. And this, combined with sanctions and a drop-off in development funding, have sent the country's economy into freefall, unleashing a humanitarian crisis with it. Gaha Khan and Abdul Saber both reside in the capital. The difference in these six months since the Taliban seized power is that there's no work at all. Everything item-wise is plentiful, but no jobs. Six months ago, people had jobs, and the work situation was quite good. But now poverty and hunger have increased. As I foresee in the future, if the world recognizes the Islamic Emirates government and unfreezes our money and assets, we will have a better and brighter future. Otherwise, we may have a miserable outlook. On Friday, the White House said the US was seeking to free up half of the $7 billion in frozen Afghan central bank assets on US soil to help the Afghan people, while holding the rest to possibly satisfy terrorism-related lawsuits against the Taliban. Afghanistan's central bank criticised the plan, calling it an injustice. The Taliban warned it would reconsider its policy towards the US if President Biden did not reverse his decision to return only half the amount.